All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the new Int Kid Broly and Ba with their Extreme Z Awakening. Now, I know technically Ba's name isn't on the card, even though he really should be. All right, if you think about it, he's on the card art, he's in the Super Attack animation, and we know how big of a role he plays in Broly's childhood, his early training, his upbringing, and... You know, you could argue that at times, Ba was actually more of a father figure to Broly than Paragus was. So, anyways, we are going to be showing him the love he deserves and calling this card Kid Broly and Ba. Alright, so jumping in. Yo, this video got off to a weird start. It's okay though. Jumping into the showcase. We're going to let Paragus super first, and then Broly's going to do his thing. Oh, by the way, we're starting with... Uh, 64,680 defense, not too bad, nothing crazy, but uh, as you guys might know, he actually stacks defense with every single super, so his defense is only going to build from here. So we should see a pretty tanky Kid Broly by the end of the showcase, and uh, starting off with about a million attack, nothing too crazy, but not bad either. Alright, not, not bad, not bad. Okay, so we got the dodge, pretty good, we took a normal 4. 49 damage with a type disadvantage so yeah so far so good now if you guys don't know what the passive of this kid broly is let me quickly read it to you guys so he gets attack and defense plus 70 percent disables enemy's guard medium chance of evading enemy's attack which is a 25 percent chance and he also will heal you for 20 percent hp 20 percent hp when delivering the final blow. Okay, so this is one of the situations I really hate in showcases where all your supports are like on the same rotation and you're like, yo, how, like who do I take off rotation to like support because like I want all of them. Um, so I'm going to take the Scattered Vegeta off first so we can get that 50% boost in a couple turns. But then I brought the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta because he's like one of the, he's actually one of the best linking partners for this kid Broly. So... Yeah, I mean, it's going to take me a couple turns to get my rotations in check, you know, get them properly sorted out, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so second turn here with the Kid Broly, and his defense is now up to 77,614. So that's up from uh, 64,000 or so, so about 13,000 increase from that one super. That's, that's not bad. All right, so let's finish off the Goku here, or hopefully finish him off. I'm not really sure if we're gonna hit hard enough, but if we finish him off, we'll heal back to full HP. I mean, we're like pretty close to full anyways, but I want you guys to see his healing capabilities, okay? So yeah, that wasn't enough, and we're getting super, please dodge this. Yo, this is gonna hurt. Yes, yes. Medium chance coming in clutch. Yeah, sadly, we didn't get the final blow, and I actually, I actually don't love this whole final blow thing because like whenever you use a unit that has a final blow mechanic where like they'll get more stat boost or heal you or get more key or whatever when they deliver the final blow um it tends to like make me play different you know like i try to like uh target like different enemies or like use different people to attack or like try to not super with certain units so that, like the other or like the unit that can't benefit from the final blow We'll get the kill, but I feel like that's dangerous in certain events, right? Because like when you're when you're trying to do like when you play different from how you normally would, you might make more mistakes. If that makes sense. Anyways, it's not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Just a little bit, a little bit annoying. Okay, so getting back to the showcase here. Oh, by the way, so of course uh, we're doing the Kid Broly showcase here. I'm most likely gonna be doing a Kid Vegeta and Raditz showcase too. The other free to play Kid Saiyans, um, Kid Saiyans unit with their Extreme Z Awakening. But uh, I think that if you guys are, you know, a little bit, you know, curious or a little bit stuck between like which one of these is more worth, I mean, first of all, I do think that both of them are actually worth farming for sure. You know, like, you should definitely do both if you have the time. And for someone like me who's like a collector, you know, I gotta do everything. So I farm both of them. But if you're, you know, short on time or feeling a little bit lazy and just like, I just want to do one of them. Which one's better? I think the Kid Broly is actually more worth your time because I think he's going to be more useful in more events than the Vegeta and Raditz. The Vegeta and Raditz, they're really good, but um, 
I just feel like Kid Broly is going to be better for harder events, right? Because he can stack that defense, whereas for the Kid Vegeta and Raditz, even though they hit harder, they are not as good defensively, right? Like, they can't dodge, they can't stack defense, and even though they stack attack faster and they get more of an attack boost, I feel like defense these days in the current meta with like the way you know new events are designed is just more important you know so that's my opinion if you guys were wondering which one is more worth i would say the uh kid broly over the kid but he didn't rat it but that being said i probably will do a showcase so you don't have to stress too much just wait for that other showcase to showcase to come out and so uh, you can decide for yourself there right now going back to what i said at the beginning of this video actually obviously i was mostly joking <laughs> That's mostly a joke, because I know the reason they didn't include Ba in the card name is because if they did, it'd be a huge issue for Broly's categories, right? Like, if you included, if you made it, you know, Kid Broly and Ba, then you couldn't put them in the Pure Saiyans category. You couldn't put them in the um, Pure Saiyans or what? what's his other category? Youth or Youth. And... Kid Broly only has two categories to start with, so that would be a huge, huge issue. Okay, quick update on the defense. 123,200. 123,000 already, man. Um, so yeah, that, that'd be an issue, right? Like, he only has two categories already, which is not a lot. And then you're going to take away both of them if you put Bot in there. So yeah, it makes sense to me, obviously. I get it, right? Like, I was a bit joking, but like... Honestly, Ba is like a very prominent figure in this card. Like he, he, he if you look at the, if, yo, if you look at the Super Attack animation, he actually does more in the animation than Broly does. Like Broly throws a few punches, that's cool, but Ba chomps down on the enemy and eats them. Okay, so you could argue he's doing much more damage in the animation too. So just another reason why, like they should have recognized him. A little bit more you know what like with the way that bandai has been doing these categories recently like i wouldn't have been mad if they still included the card in pure saiyans it, you know if they called it broly and ba and they still included it in pure saiyans still included it in um youth and also actually they would, then they would qualify for joint forces too right because the reason that they're not in joint forces is because it's not called broly and ba so yeah man a petition let's start a petition right now to uh <laughs> call this card kid broly and ba to 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 give ba the the respect he deserves because i feel like it's pretty disrespectful to not include him when he's just such a central figure here damn it mm, yo this is why i don't like bring turtle sometimes right? he's an amazing support he really is he's awesome but then he goes and does this he's just, he has to he has to eat his fruit and stop being a support and it's just super annoying um should i put broly here do you think broly's gonna be doing enough damage to kill goku or should i actually i'm probably gonna let vegeta super first hopefully not kill goku and then we'll kill goku with broly to get that heal and we should be good hopefully it works out that way let's see all right yo vegeta for once just don't crit all right i I usually want you to, want you to. Oh man, we got the crit, but he survived, and then he had to additional, and now he's dead. That sucks, man. That sucks. All right, so we got the Vegeta Blue or Blue Vegeta or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Super Saiyan Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. There's a lot of different ways to say it. We got the Vegeta transformation, so we might actually be able to just straight up take out Goku here. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, this is essentially the Kid Broly. He's not crazy, right? He's not like super, super impressive by any means. He is, after all, still a free-to-play unit that you can actually rainbow for free. But um, for what he is, man, he's got a lot of good uses, and he does. <laughs> You know do some like good damage i i think for for free to play units he defensively you know does a lot too with the healing even though he didn't get to see that here like i said man the whole final blow thing can be a little bit annoying depending on the event you're running if you're doing an event where there's like multiple you know weaker enemies 
then taking them out, you know, delivering the final blow is much easier, right? Before something like this, where it's a single enemy, and uh, it usually, you know, the enemy usually has a good amount of HP, it's kind of hard to time these things. But um, that being said, yeah, on certain events, he will be able to heal you quite often if you have multiple enemies or like weaker enemies you're facing. And um, of course, the defense stacking is another big part of why he's so good. Also, of course, the dodging too. So he, he just does a little bit of everything, a very good overall defensive unit. Ah, crap. Okay, do I, <laughs> do I give the orbs to Vegeta here? Or do I give them? Yo, actually, I want. I kind of want Broly to show out. I want Broly to show out, but at the same time, um, I want the Super Saiyan Blue, the tech one, to super first. So we can get more attack. Um, ah, screw it, whatever. Yeah, we're not. We're not here to showcase the Fizz Vegeta. You guys know what Fizz Vegeta can do, so there's no really, no real point to allow allowing him to do his like super nuke attack. So let's just do what we normally would do. We're gonna let the tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Super first. And then we're gonna see what Broly can do. And uh, I think after this stage, we might be done. You know, you guys have seen a lot, right? He's good defensively, damage wise, nothing crazy, but decent. And Bot is definitely the MVP of this card, for sure. Petition, man, we're starting a petition to make Bandai add Bot's name to this card. Okay, we're getting supered. This is a little bit scary. Oh, 52k? That's nothing. That's nothing. Kid Broly and Ba ate that like a champ, man. You know what? It's because Ba used his body to, to protect Broly from, from the super, which is why we didn't take that much damage. Let's just go with that. <laughs> okay. Um, man, Turtles is going to get destroyed. So let's actually just pop a Ghost Usher here. And uh, next turn, we'll do one more turn with the Kid Broly and the Ba, Kid Broly and Ba. And then I think that's going to be it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Kid Broly and Ba overall. Um, let me know whether or not you would sign this petition to make them add Ba's name to the card. <laughs> Yo, I don't think there's anything wrong with them adding the name and still um, keeping them in the current categories. Okay, because Bandai does a lot of weird stuff. Bandai does a lot of weird stuff. Like, think about the fact that, like, Gotenks, right? The fusion between Go Goten and Trunks is in the Hybrid Saiyans category, but Gogeta and Vegito are not in the Pure Saiyans category. Hmm? Right? That doesn't make a lot of sense, but they do it anyways, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get, you know, Ba in the name and still keep them or keep this card in pure saiyans and uh youth okay i've talked enough i'm done <laughs> you guys get the point uh defense 169,400. nice that is a good number that's a good number to end off here and uh you know instead of letting vegeta super i'm just gonna let broly do his thing and since there's a lot of attacks there we can actually see him do some more tanking and uh, that is gonna be today's showcase. 30 damage right there, 1.54 mil. Of course, would have been higher if we let Vegeta super. And uh, there's an additional as well. Yo, Goku, super me. Come on, I dare you. I dare you, super me. Damn it. Ah. All right, well, either way, either way, like I said, it is the end of the showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Man, he had to double super when I put him in the second slot. Well, anyways, um, as always, if you guys liked today's showcase, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.